Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, guess what? We're going to do another day of eating, right? So something else and something uh, hopefully a little different than what you've seen in the past. Um, but uh, similar, I mean, I'm a creature of habit, so you're going to probably see some of the same stuff that, that I always do. So, um, so first we're going to start and make the coffee. Coffee's on. Collagen in it. I am started. I started putting ghee back in uh, my coffee as well. So don't know what ghee is. Ghee is just clarified butter. So they take butter and they, uh, they purify it and they take out all the milk solids and everything out of it. So it's actually a, um, a much purer form of butter. Uh, it doesn't have all the casins in it that regular butter has. And it, uh, it's actually a lot healthier for you. It's also a great way to cook because it has a much higher in, uh, uh, burn points like almost 500 degrees or something which is a lot higher than regular butter so it's uh it's, it's better to cook with and stuff as well so um, but this is this is coconut cream This little frother is probably one of the most used things in the house. <laughs> I'll tell you. I use it now. My wife uses it now. And it just really mixes up the coffee really nice. Um, if you're using something that has that will create a froth, it will actually create a froth on the top of your coffee if you if you like it. So, um, so it works great. I'm telling you. So, hey. Here's a cheers. Have a great day. Um, let's see what we're going to have for uh, breakfast to go with this. Let's look in the refrigerator. Let's right? see what we're going to have right off the bat. So this morning I'm going to have two hard-boiled eggs. So... All right, so I'm going to go eat my two eggs and drink my coffee. We'll come back in the next segment, and we'll talk about what we're going to do next. All right, it's time to go through supplements, right? So um, in the morning, I do take supplements, and I forgot one. Um, so I do, take a, uh, I do take a probiotic. You've seen me do it. Every time you watch one of these, you'll see me take these probiotics. I like the now ones, they work good for me. Um, again, I don't know what other people think, but that one where works well for me. Um, so, 
so I do take that. Then I take some others, and I take them, and right after I eat my uh, my lunch, I'll, I'll take them. Um, I'll go through them real quick, like I put them in a bag, and I take them to work with me like this. And then I put it on my desk to remind me to take them after my lunch. Um, so the first thing I take is my, the magnesium glycinate. Um, I like the glycinate because it's actually gentle on my stomach. It really, it slowly digests and, and releases into your body, so it's really, really good. This is probably one of the most important ones that I take um, out of all of them. This is the one of the ones first I first started taking, right? So, um, <clears throat> so really, really good. The oxinate. If you go to the store and you buy it and you get magnesium oxide, oxidate or whatever it is. It's a waste of time because it just goes right through your body and your body doesn't absorb very little of it. So um, you want to get, there's a couple different ones. The glycinate is the one I use because it's gentler on your stomach. Some of the other ones can be harder, right? A zinc tablet I take. Um, I take a B12 tablet. I take a fish oil tablet, right? Um, I take a vitamin D3 K2. The K2 um, is made to, uh, to help with the cholesterol buildups and everything else in your body to keep everything moving so that you don't get those uh, the buildups. So um, hopefully it's working. Um, um, vitamin C. So some of the other vitamins like the magnesium um, actually needs a vitamin C to work well. So if you're not taking one without the other, it doesn't it it doesn't doesn't work. One is the mineral, and the other one's like a transporter, I guess you call it. So. Um, and then I take the iodine. Uh, I have been doing that, um, and it helps. All right. So, and I also take this uh, sandy barley um, every day as well. It supposedly helps with your uh, immune system, uh, really boost your immune systems. So we've been taking it for a while now. So we're trying it, and uh, we've been taking it for a while. It doesn't hurt, right? So it's just the barley grass from New Zealand, um, baby barley grass from New Zealand, um, and. Uh, uh, we're trying it. Like I said, we've been down it for quite a while. It seems to be okay. Um, and then I do take electro electrolyte every day. Generally, what I do with this is usually I mix it in the afternoon when I do my walks after work. So when I go out and do my workout, then I go for my walk after that. Um, usually I mix up some of this and I take a bottle of it with me and I drink that with me. I will tell you the summertime is here, so electrolytes are really super important because heat stroke is not a pleasant thing to get. So... Um, especially if you go up here in the hills and hike and stuff, heat stroke can be a bad thing because um, it's not a place where people can come up and get you or an ambulance come and get you if you're hiking up in the mountains here. So um, think about that and if you're out and about, especially in the sun and going to the beach or whatever, electrolytes are really super, super important. I think they're important every day, right? Just it helps you get your magnesium in as well as potassium as well as at least the keto, perfect keto does. And also get your... Uh, your salt and stuff as well, so so you don't get clear. Um, and then I'm trying this out, this uh, this Perfect Keto um, Beauty and Sleep Collagen. Steve over at Perfect Ke uh, yeah, Serious Keto had been ranting and raving about it. Um, I've been doing it now for a week and a half. Um, I, I will do a video on, on that coming up or I'll discuss it maybe part of a live and, and tell you how I think I've been recording my sleep numbers every day, um, and we'll talk a little bit more about it, whether it's worthwhile or not. And, um, so that's those are my supplements that I take every day. It seems like I take a lot. I, I'm, you know, I don't know, just kind of built over time. You, you started taking the magnesium, and then I started taking zinc, and I started taking the, the you know, the, the fish oils and so on and so forth. And there's probably a few more that I should be taking that I probably add at some point in time. All right, so for my lunch. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take a couple of these uh, Teton's sausages. They're um, grass-fed, 100% beef. Um, it's just it's just uh, it's just grass-fed beef water and then some sea salt, vinegar, spices, uh, paprika, celery powder, garlic powder, cherry powder. And that's all that's in it. So. I really, really like these things. I really, really like them a lot. So I actually have a package of them. I actually have a package here that's thawed. That one's frozen. So I'm going to cut another one out of this. Um, and um, take two of these. So I'm going to take two of these. I'm going to take one slice of cheese out of here. 
And then I'm going to take two of these egg life wraps and I'm going to use those to put the hot dogs in. So those are going to be my hot dog buns. So it's going to be really super, um, super easy. Let me all, let me get a bag to put them in. I guess I should have done that earlier. I'm going to cut that open. Yeah, these Teton things are, uh, I get them at Costco and these are really, really super. I'm sure you can get them online or um, I know that I've seen them at, um, I've also seen them at uh, Sprouts as well. I'm not sure if anybody else that I know has them. I know Sprouts has them. Probably Whole Foods has them. So you can get them a few different places. I'm just going to take one piece of cheese and I'll break it in half and I'll put it on half of one and half the other. So it's kind of like a cheese dog, right? So that's the intent of it. Um, I'm going to put the cheese in here. And again, I'll, uh, depends on who's in my office at the time and everything else. <coughs> um, we'll see. I really like these. These, uh, these are really good. I got to get some of the, uh, the Southwest ones are the best. I like the, the spiciness of the Southwest ones. They have different flavors and stuff. When you get into the flavored ones, usually um, they'll have a carb or two, whereas the plain ones are just zero carbs. But they're really good, they're really versatile. I've been using these probably more than any other wraps these days. Um, so I'm just gonna fold that up, put that in the bag. Then at lunchtime, I'll put this, put them together, and uh, I will take some. I'll take a little bit of sugar-free ketchup with me. Um, put it in a little thing. And that'll be my lunch, and then I also I'm going to take a uh, two good yogurt. So that that'll be my lunch. This is actually more of a snack than a lunch, and then this will be my lunch. So and it's more than enough. It's really really filling. These things are these things are pretty big. They're like twice the size of a regular hot dog. So um, pretty filming. So that's my lunch. I'll come back and we'll shoot a segment um, at my desk provided there is nobody in there hounding me or <clears throat> there's nothing else going on. So all right, I'll talk to you in the next segment. So here's my lunch. The dogs with a little bit of ketchup on them. So that's all there is to it. And then just a bottle of water. So, so that's my lunch today. Uh, like I said, the Teton's uh, sausages are really, really good. I really, really like them. They're my favorite. Uh, so usually buy two or three packages every time I go to Costco. Last time they were on sale, so we bought a couple of them. So, um, All right. I'm going to go eat my lunch and enjoy. Talk to you in the next segment. Hey, it's time for dinner. Hey, it's a great time to do the thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and hit that little bell icon that's over here. Um, it would really be greatly appreciated on my part. Um, it really helps me a lot. So um, if you can, it's free. Please help me. I need it. <laughs> I need all the help I get. <laughs> so... Um, Anyway, hey, so we're going to eat dinner now, so I'm going to start working on that. Um, I've actually started laying it all out and getting it all out and everything else. Um, I had to defrost some chicken breast, so I'm going to have some chicken breast, So and then I'm going to have some broccoli with it. So this is this is my dinner. Okay. So it's seven ounces of uh, chicken breast. It still has the skin with it. Um, I like the skin. I like the fat. Um, and then... Um, I have about a half a cup of broccoli with it, <clears throat> so that's what I have. Um, I also have my, uh, this, these are blackberries. I take the six ounce container when I buy them, um, and then I divide them into two two containers. I leave three ounces in there. And if you don't have, I'm gonna tell you, if you don't have a scale, go get one, because I will tell you, it's, it's uh, to take guesses and everything else, um, 
it can really throw you off. It's a good thing to weigh things every once in a while, just so you get a kind of good general idea. Yep, that's that's seven ounces. Yep, that's ten ounces, and and just set it instead of end up taking in it's twelve ounces and you think it's six ounces or something like that. And some things it really doesn't matter that much, but some things it does matter. So, um, you know. But uh, hey, hopefully you're uh, liking the content. I'm gonna try to set the camera down here. Hopefully. Uh, uh, Hopefully everything is going good. Um, I'm having a good day so far, at least I think I am. I'm putting everything into Carb Manager. We'll come back here in the next segment. We'll go through Carb Manager. I did want to just remind you, if you could, um, you know, I have links for the recipes down there. There's a link, uh, yeah. There's a link for a website down there where, as I cook things that are my recipes, um, I'm putting them on that website. Um, so hopefully you go down there and check that out. Uh, also, the uh, the Amazon links are there. Um, there's some other money saving tips like the Abada. Um, I know I went grocery shopping last week and I scanned my receipts. And it doesn't really cost you anything. You scanned them and I got a dollar sixty back, right? So, um, so heck, you know, not a lot of money, but hey, a dollar sixty is a dollar sixty these days. Uh, as well as I do, like I said, I do kind of fool around with some stocks a little bit, just to kind of play money. And I know Weevil right now, and I put a link down there for it as well, that has, if you go down there and you put a dollar and open up an account with them, um, there are stock brokers like Robinhood. And, and and if you put a dollar in an account and you get up to six free stocks, I know when I opened up my account um, and I got uh, and I got my free stocks, most of them were like three or five dollar stocks, but I got a share of Apple, which is like 150 bucks for free for one putting a dollar in there. Um, so... Um, you know, it's well worth it. So I think it is anyway. And, uh, you know, it, it, you know, it's, it's just, uh, something for free and to get a little bit of money, uh, maybe out of it or not. So anyway, that's all I wanted to say. So go down there and check those links out. That would be greatly appreciated. Um, I know everybody else is not here for that, but Hey, put money in your pocket. That's, that's a good thing for everybody. So, all right. I will talk to you later. Have a sparkling day. Oh, I shouldn't say that. I'll see you in the next segment is what I should say. All right. Hey, what a great day. What a great day, huh? So um, we're back for the final segment. I would call it the final segment. Um, um, I think it was a good day. Um, I really enjoy these days. Um, I eat like this every day, so it's really not much of a I guess I would call it a special day. I would just call it a normal day, right? So <clears throat> I don't plan anything out when I do these things. Um, so you're getting what I do in a day. You see me in the morning when I'm still sleeping and I'm trying to get my coffee in me so I can actually wake up. And uh, hopefully you like the stuff, right? So hopefully, you know, you thumbs up. Hopefully you subscribe and hit that little bell icon. That would, you know, really help the channel out a lot. Help me out a lot. It gives me encouragement to continue and... Um, to keep showing me what kind of content you'd like. Um, so if you'd like more of these, let me know down in the comments down below if you're really enjoying these. Um, as well, if you'd like to see some more grocery hauls. I haven't been doing grocery hauls a whole lot. Um, we went to the grocery store on Sunday. We bought a bunch of stuff, and I didn't do a grocery haul on it. I usually only do the Costco ones. If you'd like to see what I normally buy on a regular week, let me know that in the comments down below, and maybe I'll start doing some more of the grocery hauls as well. Uh, doing one every week or every couple of weeks or something like that just so you kind of get an idea um, and you can also see how we start doing some of our meal planning and stuff of that nature as well um, I will tell you that a lot of the times especially the end part of the week um, when it gets down to that Thursday Friday time frame well, there's not much of a plan for those days because usually we meal plan on Saturday and Sunday and usually that lasts us until Tuesday or Wednesday um, and then usually Thursday and Friday are kind of a free for all. <laughs> so, but we manage and we do good. Um, again, I do total carbs versus net carbs. It works better for me. Um, I find that uh, it really helps me sustain it. It helps me eating a good, healthy diet and keeps a lot of the keto sweets and snacks and stuff out. All I do eat them, and you'll see even tonight with uh, I think the macros that I put in. Um, I'll go through them and hopefully they're correct. We'll, we'll find out when I get to the end right here. Um, um, if there's a room for a cookie or something like that, that's when I'll eat the cookie. I'm not going to eat the cookie and then do the macros and find out, oh, yeah, I went over by, you know, five carbs or 20 carbs or whatever it is. So 
Um, that's the way I do it. Um, so it's just kind of that way. Um, when we do get over here, uh, like today, um, because the weekend's coming, I will make a couple of keto chows tonight. I'll put them in a refrigerator. Um, so this weekend, probably either tomorrow night or Saturday, we'll make ice cream for the weekend. And then we have uh, really good snacks on the weekends. And so if I'm going to um, go a little bit on the weekends because usually on the weekends, we only usually do two meals and then a snack or something like that. So I'll, I'll have some of the keto chow ice cream. And I use these little tiny containers that I fill up and uh, it's about a quarter of a serving so it's only a couple of carbs for one so um, so it works out good for me right uh, it's a good treat a good good uh, snack they're cheap because I'm making them myself versus going out and buying Rebels which is the other ice cream that I really like um, and paying six or seven dollars a pint for them, right so <clears throat> again right now with the way things are you know you gotta kind of watch every penny you, you can and uh, so hey speaking of pennies if you would like to go down and check out the links um, there's some Amazon affiliate links down there as well so if you click on them and you, you buy stuff through Amazon um, you know we get a couple of we get like one percent of the sale or something like that and it does not change the price whatsoever and you're helping out you know whether whoever the um, the people that you follow or anything else <clears throat> whether it be me or somebody else it'd be great to uh, to get that couple of cents in because it really does help with a lot of the stuff, like I said, we experimented and we cooked like, like the bread, we cooked, must have cooked a dozen different loaves, um, trying different things and trying to get the one that we really liked the best. Um, so those things cost a lot of money and stuff like that. But anyway, enough of that being said, um, you're not here for that. Um, but anyway, so I want to talk about what a great day it has been. Um, I really, really appreciate you, you viewing these and watching these. Um, I really, really like doing them. I love, love the interaction and the comments down below. So, um, you know, so I'm going to go through it and the, here, refresher for the day. Um, we had the, uh, the morning coffee, a hard boiled egg. Um, that was breakfast. That was all I had for breakfast. It was two total carbs. Um, and then for lunch, I had the, uh, the, the Tetons, I guess it's Tetons, um, uh, beef Polish sausage, the uncured ones. Um, I get them from Costco. Super, super good. I had two of them. That's only one carb. The Egg Life Wraps. Um, I had a uh, Colby, Colby Jack cheese and I cut the cheese and sliced in half and put one and a half on each dog. Um, and then I added a little bit of ketchup on it. And I also had a Dannon um, Too Good yogurt. So that was seven total carbs for lunch. All right. And then for, for dinner tonight, I had the... Uh, the chicken breast, um, the broccoli. I had some more ketchup with it, um, and then I had some uh, some blackberries. Now I'm gonna put the uh, I'm gonna put the, uh, the 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 macros up here so you can see them um, and how I did for the day, uh, good or bad or indifferent. Um, again, so for protein, I did 126 uh, total grams of protein out of a goal of 120, so I was over a little bit. So I'm happy with that. Um, the fat I was at 25. Uh, I was at 75 out of a goal of 100. I'm okay with that. Um, I would have kind of gotten it closer to 100, but it doesn't have to be perfect, right? It's it's somewhere in the ballpark. That's all I care, right? So um, again, I'm going to tell you calories. But again, I don't really care about calories. And the only time I'm really looking at these calories is when I'm doing these videos and we're talking because I don't track them because I don't believe that cal. Uh, calories in and calories out. I don't believe in it. Um, I will tell you that it's been my experience. I've been doing this almost five years and it does not hold true. So, um, right. A, a protein takes your body a lot more energy to process, to digest and process than, than a carb complex carb, um, takes to, to process. So therefore you spend a lot more energy doing it while you're digesting. That's just my put on it. Um, we can have a further discussion somewhere else. So calories, I did um, 1,338 calories today out of a goal of 14,082. Um, and when my total carbs was 20 out of a goal of 25. So I'm really, really good with that. The fiber was uh, seven. So the net carbs, if you're doing net carbs, was only 13, right? So um, again, you, you, you see it up here, um, you know, that's what I ate today. 
Um, it's a, it was a lot of food for me, right? Those Teton sausages are pretty big. Two of them are really, really filling, right? Um, and then that, that chicken with the, uh, the broccoli was very, very filling as well. So um, 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 it's a very satisfying day of eating. It's a very sustainable way of eating for me. So, um, and then I have five extra carbs that I could eat. So I can kind of look in and I can go in and say, well, you know, what do I have? That, and then generally I try to make it myself because then I can control it versus buying them. I do buy some stuff. Um, and then I kind of look at it and say, well, what's five total carbs that I could have that would keep me under that? And um, I might like for a snack for dinner today. Um, I'm not going to do that tonight, but uh, I'm just saying that's kind of the way I kind of normally would do if I'm in a snacking mood or something of that nature. Um, I would really do the... Make sure I have tracking and, and then I have, I know what I'm doing, right? So, um, and what I'm eating. So, hey, hopefully you liked the video. Um, the best way that you can show me you liked it was subscribing to the channel. Um, so I really hope you do. Go down there and check out those links because it does help out the uh, the YouTubers. It helps myself out as well as anybody else. Um, I do have a merch site, some merchandise down there. If you want to go down and buy one of those, you are awesome shirts or one of the Alan Keto uh, logos uh, one as well. They're 20% off right now, I believe, until uh, the 16th or something like that. So there are only a couple more days left on it if you want to go down there and get one of those shirts. Um, you know, so and help spread the name. All right, so hey, you guys have a great day. You guys have an awesome weekend. Um, you know, you guys are awesome. And I will see you soon.